Hello guys, there seems to be a lot of confusion between ENFPs and ENFJ personality types and the different engrams of ENFJs. Okay, so I'm an ENFJ, I assume, presumably. Some people say I'm ENF, uh, ENTP and some people say INTJ even because I make like sort of like mind maps. I guess you could even say INTP. So I've been hopping through a lot of types. And basically, you could be any type and also be empathetic. So it just also depends on your personal values. So I assume that I also fit into ENFJ. And that's like kind of like my, uh, my function when I was like small. I think I was an ENFJ, but I'm not 100% sure because ENFJs are hell intellectual. They're also avoided child, so... So when I was a kid, I was spending a lot of time sitting on the curve, pondering about life, pondering about people playing a, in a four square and uh, how uh, they're not so lonely. And as I was kind of lonely now, I want to kind of give people an understanding that um, ENFJs are treated in their family very poorly with uh, a lot of negative conditioning, I assume. Generally, that's what happens. And after they come to school and they don't even really want to stay in school, they kind of want to stay on the side. And their their vibe uh, when they're children is kind of like Einstein. Like you feel very perceptive because you have been maybe, you know, not as accepted by the group of people. But it was kind of like you, you get accepted, you get appreciation, but you still feel distant. You're sort of like the middleman in between in school. And um, I was suspended from seven schools, I had, uh, uh, like, I would say it's like covert aggression, sort of, like, when when you want to make people like you, like, a lot of the times it could be mistaken for autism, and let's say somebody comes up to you, you go like this, or like, like that, and that's kind of the SEIs, right, the tertiary third function is used a lot of the times by ENFJs, as um, yeah, it's the third function, and uh, well, the FE, which is the first function, is is fed with the SE. Now, a lot of the times, if you want to know if you're ENFJ, you're witty and smart at birth. You kind of have like an ISTP friend around who basically like. For me, I guess, he was treating me really meanly, and it was kind of crazy, so he took like the kitchen knife, he would run after me, I would like be very like hyper, and I would like run into the toilet, and I would shut the door before he could get his knife and like play, role play with me and pretend that he is like cutting me up into pieces. I don't know, some people maybe had a more normal childhood than that, but that's the kind of thing that I had. I didn't mind it. I was like, ha, oh, fuck it. Ha, it's crazy. Let's continue. Let's continue doing, let's continue following this guy's dream. Let's continue, you know, he could be number one, dead for fuck's sakes, for this, I'll be number two. <laughs> so that's that's kind of it. And, and empathy, empathy is a hard thing because a, a lot of times you're, you're very confrontational and judgmental of other people. So when it comes to being like empathetic, it could sometimes come off as, um, well, if you judge and believe a fact to be in this way, why can't I judge you based on my feelings and change the fact around in a moment? So see, FE is kind of in the moment. No, wait. SE is kind of in the moment type of function. It's like you live in in the now and in the future. But like you don't focus on any activities in the now, but you focus everything on the future. So, But your progress happens in the moment. And that's something to consider. Now... ENFPs at birth, I or, or like the ones I met, they seem to have like generational curses where they get infected by demons and because they have a demon in their family, they have this aggression so they're able or have the ability to send uh, demonic, egoistic smells from other people like it's cool and stuff. That's possible and maybe not all and you know it's very interesting because um, I'll say something about ENFJs. I believe that we are born actually part of being more psychopathic. Well, not, not fully psychopathic, but we certainly have certain traits of psychopathy. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes even uh, some sadistic tendencies as they develop over time. Now, what's this philosophy everyone's asking about ENFJs? It's like, oh, why, why do we like to be sadistic? Well, we like to 
Wait, though, though, not sadistic, damn it, masochistic. So when I was a kid, I would go home and I would ponder about life. I'd read a couple of s books and I would, I would sit on my bed and I would meditate or research information of what it's like to get knifed. And how is how painful is it if the knife goes fully in or if the knife just basically scratches your skin? Well, if it goes fully in, it's not as painful as if it was to actually scratch your skin because your skin's more sensitive than your internal organs or some, some crazy shit like that. The, the, the things that, you know, that transfer to the ENTP level, like what the fuck? Like, why would you talk about this? So yeah, that's kind of what is what happened. And uh, you know, you as an ENFJ, you're kind of like, you're very sweet to people. You're not really mean, you know, like in the in your childhood, you're, you're kind of like on the side. But you know, when it comes to talking to people, you'd probably be distant, you would be disconnected. You wouldn't engage, you wouldn't engage in conversation. Instead, you would be kind of like, very, very, mm, very disappointed that you can't continue to add facts to a person talking about something very important. So you tend to want to be very, like, you know, outgoing and, and smart. So you end up, like, over, uh, over, over wanting to give out information so you end up burning out with your FE as it becomes very active. You become like an emotional bulldozer I guess, sort of, I believe I'm actually a couple of types, not just one, but you become an emotional bulldozer, and you're like, oh my god, ah, oh my god, ah, ow, 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 something else hurting, <laughs> ow, oh my god, what the fuck, ah, and then you sound like uh, ESFJ at that point, or I, ISFJ, because they're like detectives, and they think that they're like psychopathic, so they sound like, so what do you want, what do you do want to die, do you want to die, well, I, well no, no, that's the sorry. That's more ENTP. Damn it! These types and their ways of expression—they all sound similar. So it, you're basically like, "Oh my God, did you go there?" No, but but not really. Like, look, like, "Oh my God, did you go there?" "Oh my God, was that fun?" "Oh yeah, yeah, I went there." "Oh man, oh it was the best." "Oh God, like you you can't even believe it, man." Like we did so much at the party. Like we just like I, I just loved this girl, so I just started drinking all the colas back in grade eight. Well, where basically I was invited to the party. I was like the life of the party, sorta. Not really. I was kind of on the side, and I just tried to be the life of the party. You said one interesting fact from the internet. Everybody's like, "Holy fuck, it's Jesus!" No I'm kidding. <laughs> but, but but that's basically it. Um, that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see, and then there's those damn pauses, which I freaking hate, even till this point, they're pretty annoying, and the ability to also not feel comfortable within your own skin, because you were neglected by society a lot, no, by, by understanding of what people presume genius or smartness, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of a plain fellow when you're an ENFJ, I think so, but at the same time, you have psychopathic tendencies to create mind maps, so I'm just going to do a couple of types and their explanation as to how things are. And yeah, there's something that I created. So feelings are not a limit. Feelings are not irrationality. Water test art says that feelings actually, if they were to be expressed properly uh, the, and not like whatever greedily or, or whatever, how people like to mess up feelings in society, then they're actually very valuable very helpful and interesting for people. Okay, so this whole teaching aspect. Well, the teaching aspect is sort of like masochism. You want to teach people through your masochism. So you end up, oh, yeah, you end up being empathetic. You end up generally really thinking about people and really thinking about things as an ENFJ. If if you are that type, you, you, you almost like cry because you want to, you want to help people. But at the same time, ENFJs, mm, I wouldn't say we're like the very feely types because we're the ends. And feely, I mean by the idea that we will express it outwardly. We would rather express it inwardly to you that we're feely. And outwardly are other types like ESFJ, ESFJ, ISFJ, uh, IS. ISFP, I guess some some of ENFP. Whole, those types are way more expressive. ENFJs are like introverts. They're like, okay, well, let's just be, you know, damn it. 
<laughs> stupid FE. That's that's when FE takes over. You go into FE, SC loops. You you end up like crazy like that. Okay, so that's kind of it. And um, yeah, sometimes it's just like a pause, or sometimes it's like chaotic thinking, and you live in chaotic lifestyle. And look, you don't really take care of yourself, and you are interested in knowledge. You're narcissistic. Uh, probably 20% narcissism is based on the idea of wanting to help people and not, you know, look good with your looks. So that's kind of the ENFJ side. Now, what I got from the ENFP side is ENFPs are very genius people. They have a lot of more information than ENFJs ch generally have. And they, they got their concepts together because they have that TI, I assume, at, at the first function. So they think about everything before doing it and they don't engage in protagonist kind of senses. But yet they also ponder very closely to an ENFJ by simply being very observant or very progressive in the feelings so the feelings motivate the ENFP to kind of develop his J function sort of like I would say like shadow J function where basically that enhances him to learn and move and do things in society so yeah and ENFPs are just generally very nice people they're not judgmental they're not forward they have a lot more value driven behavior than ENFJs ENFJs are like yeah, we got values, yeah, we teach people stuff, but we also really, really want freedom, so we go and do the beta personality type, which is basically our way of chaos, like our way of not no longer handling the situation, and we simply express ourselves in chaotic ways and lose ourselves in life. It's hard. It's it's uh it's hard being an ENFJ. It's kind of similar. I always thought it was um INFP because I had say oh one day psychosis when I was a child. Uh, I was sleepwalking, almost jumped off the balcony as, as as a kid, and a lot of the times you know when I was growing up, I would tend to like very um, like be sarcastic around my elder elderly people, and I grew up with my grandma. My mom uh, raised me after later in life. And I was kind of sarcastic and sort of juvenile, mean, a little bit rebellious. No, sh um, more like chauvinist. And yeah, that that's kind of was this. When I was a kid, I went to like uh, French art schools and I used to draw like puppies or something. <laughs> it's like very vague because, you know, everything's about the future and also about the now. So there is no past. There, there isn't really a collective of of true understandings other than objective facts for you know a consideration of the entirety of society for example like ENTPs can do INFJs are more momentary concise quick protagonist fast moving uh solo function oriented people uh yeah so that's just how it is and uh, you know this whole extroverted thing like, okay, so some introverts say, like, oh, uh, extroverts would be people who don't consider values, so, you know, they're going to talk a lot, and they're not going to, you know, pause their sentences, or, you know, they're just, they're just going to be very arrogant towards other people. Well, the truth is, even on the most, like, this level, even on the most normal, default, sincere, introverted, trying level, uh, extrovert actually ends up still being an extrovert based on the power of the speech. I believe so. But again, people said I'm not very extroverted and they told me that I'm an introvert as well. <laughs> well, freak, I am my fucking piano. I'm my piano right there. Yeah, so that's just how it is. And if you like this video, please leave a uh, thumbs up. Oh, I never said that. Holy crap, I said that first time. And also, it, uh, tell me if you're an FJ and tell me if you have the similar past. Oh, right. I'm going to do some cluster B type of... Uh, nah. Okay, yeah. I'm going to do some cluster B demonstration. So it goes like this. I hate you all. Inside, inside the mind. I hate you all. Shut up. Your voice. Your voice is very loud. Your voice, your voice isn't of my tone. Your voice is is squeaky. Holy fuck, it's squeaky.
Why the fuck is it squeaky? Ah, okay, no, anyways, I don't feel like being angry, so, yeah. Hope you guys have a good day, and tell me if I'm ENFJ.